I feel like I've been working with this for so long now. It's kind of like it's become such a natural thing for me to do, to wake up, do whatever I have to solve in my life and then go to the studio. I'm not so afraid of making a mistake. I'm not afraid of the white canvas, for example. I just, you know, fall into it or, or, or roll myself into it and then I do something and it's probably bad. But then at least I have something to, to work with and kind of fix. Uh, and and I, I find that very funny, doing a mistake and then have to fix it again. <laughs> uh, and I also think that's kind of like, um, I don't, I, I don't um, stress myself about anything having to be good or perfect uh, until I've been working quite a long time or something. In my work I always take departure from a place. Uh, that can be a, a specific place or a fictional place. Uh, at the moment I'm working with this fictional place, uh, which I call Morania. And um, it's it's been a way for me, as a, with background in architecture, to kind of like go deep in and, and uh, examine a specific construction, but also to, to look at the, the connections and how this is a part of a bigger uh, society. I, I like installing my work site-specifically according to the architecture. So if there's a problem in the space, like uh, the ceiling suddenly gets low or there are windows uh, all the way down at one side, like there is at my upcoming show, I like to go about that and use the problem as kind of like an inspiration. Um, it started with the exhibition I had in Venezuela, where I... I uh, I decided to bring all my work down and then install with what I would find at the museum in order to mimic how the Venezuelans survive at the moment, uh, how they'll take over a building and just finishing it with some fabric or some wood uh, that they have by hand. And I decided to, to go by that with the paintings and the installation myself. Art offers uh, the, the big departure between A and B and how you can go backwards and jump and curl around and, and actually think in another way and uh, in a more po poetic way to, to uh, feel in your stomach about um, or feel in your gut about uh, who you are and, uh, and, and how you would like the world to be.